Okay, let's do a fun one. It's, a, it's short, but it's not that short. Okay, so calculate the kinetic energy of a baseball, and it has a mass of 6 ounces, and it has a velocity of 1.2 times 10 square miles per hour. Uh, it's kinetic energy, so we know the equation that we need. Kinetic energy is half the product of mass and the velocity squared. So that is the kinetic energy. Little things that they did. They gave us the mass in ounces. We're going to need to change that to an SI unit. So we're going to need this in kilograms. And they gave us this in miles per hour. I'm sorry, we're going to need to change it to meters per second. So those are the two most complicated things would be that those conversions. So let's do the mass first. So the mass, we start with six ounces. And then you go deep into your book to look at all the conversion factors. And we find that one pound is 16 ounces. If you're a cook, you know this. And then you also find that um, 2.205 pounds is a kilogram. All right, let's see if we cancel ounces. We cancel the ounces. We cancel the pounds. That means that we set it up correctly. And that means that our six ounce ball is actually 0.17 uh, kilograms. Let's do this one. This one's a little more complicated because we have to change the miles to meters, the hours to seconds, but it's still doable. So we want the velocity. Start with, I don't know why they don't put 120, but let's just go ahead and leave it like that. Again, miles per hour. I'm going to write it out. Let's start with the hours first, because that, that's the actually the easiest one. So we know that an hour, that in one hour, we have 60 minutes. And we know that one minute ooh, is 60 seconds. So let's see if we were able to convert our hours to seconds. So hours cancel, minutes cancel, and I'm left with seconds there. Now I need to change the miles. That one's a little more complicated. Again, go back into your book and you will find that one mile is 1760 yards. And that one yard, I'm sorry, not one yard, 1 1.094 yards, it's one meter. All right, let's cancel. You know that I like canceling. Miles over here cancels with the miles over here. And the yards cancel with yards. I have meters and seconds left. So this one right here is 54 meters per second. Now all I have to do is take these two numbers and put it in my formula for kinetic energy. So it's half, don't forget the half, 0 0.7, 0 0.17, I'm going to use my units. I want to see you use units as well. And the 54 meters per second, that has to be squared. So put all that into your calculation calculator sorry and it's 248 kilograms per uh, meter square per second square and this right here this is the definition of a joule so you can give me your answer as 248 joules